everybody, I am Diamond the Hedgehog, and welcome to the Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Now, the ran now this is something I didn't know it existed until, like, a couple months ago, when I watched, uh, when I watched, um, what's his name, Attacking Toucans, he made a video, he made a series on this that I'll leave in the description because he's pretty good, but, um, and I think it's just really, I think it's just really cool, the fact that this is a thing that can exist. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll, I, I can't really think of anything that I need to explain right now, other than the fact that there's a little tracker over here. And, uh, most of these things are self-explanatory, but again, if something comes up that I feel I need to explain, I'll explain it then. So, yeah. So, as, as you can see, I already have some files started here technically however that's ju that's just that's just uh, uh that that's that's for like some other things that i'm doing uh this i believe i believe i made this one that's for my like regular playthrough of the game and then that's for my for my twitch streaming oh yeah also, i also streamed it on twitch which you might remember from then so anyway so let's get started also I'm gonna go ahead and do what attacking two cans did and have it wait oh oops hang on hang on I'll open that in a new window new window so that it doesn't there we go okay I'll use a random name generator and all categories, either gender and uh, first name only, and generate a name. Let's see what we get. Fergus. That is not the name I would have chosen, but okay. F Fergus. Um, with the mouse out of the way. R G U S. Boom. Okay. I, w I would like to link you to all the stuff directly. However, Nintendo is going to come after my butt if I do that. So I'm instead going to just link you to. Li I'm instead going to put a permanent invite to the uh, Discord. For I'm instead going to put in a link for the Discord to this to the Zelda randomizer so if you want to play it at, if you want to play it yourself you can do that so Fergus is our name and we start off with the shadow medallion and yeah it starts you off with one of the medallions automatically because uh, I have it set so that the temple of time is always open and so even if even if I don't have the uh, even if I don't have the three gems down here that I've forgotten the names of. Oops. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I always... So, yeah. The Temple of Time door is automatically open. So, yeah. Let's get started. Ugh. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so I also set it... So, I also set it so that, um... The color of Link was, uh, completely randomized. Like, truly randomized. Like, on a color wheel, not just the sets. And it gave me this ugly pea color. Oh boy. Uh, I also did the same thing with Navi and... Oh. Hang on. Wait. Okay. Burgundy. I think that's burgundy. I don't know my colors very well. And there are some colors that I think I know well that I don't know well. So. Either way. We are not the prettiest looking duo. Maybe I should have just had it so that it was uh, random. Select. So anyways, whatever. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Mido's house, or Milo's house, rather, and we're going to look through all four of the chests and see what we get. Oh, the boomerang! Oh, that's a good item. Dang, alright. What's next? Nope, oh, hang on. Okay, piece of heart, nice. 
our very first bloopy. So, so if you don't know, uh, blue rupees are one of the most common items you can get in this game, in in the randomizer, and so they're kind of annoying. You you kind of get annoyed of them after a while, which is why we call them uh, bloopies. So yeah, that's fun. Our fourth item is another bloopy. And I could have. Isn't there something that? Uh, if I jump off, no. I could have sworn there was something up there. Oh well. Anyways, so, all right, we got the boomerang though. That's that's pretty dope. Do people say dope anymore? I don't know. So yeah, we got the O. Oh. oh no. Okay. That could be because that could be simply because of um of me using uh, Project 64, which is not recommended. But, uh, I didn't really want to go through the trouble of installing another emulator just to play this. Plus, I managed to get Project 64 working anyway, so it's it's all good, so. Oh, what was that? Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot! I also, I also randomized uh, Navi's sound, of, Navi sound effects. Oh! Oh wait, I thought I turned the- I didn't- I thought I turned the music off. Oh. Okay, well also- okay, well also the music is, um... The music is- the music is randomized and so are Navi's, uh, sound effects. So... So, in Kokor- in Kokiri Forest, it's playing the Fire Temple theme. And since I randomized an early version of of uh, Zelda, because I randomized an early version of Ocarina of Time, it's uh, playing the version with the Muslim chanting. So, yeah, offensive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyways, so next up, we are going to go back here. Or, yeah. Okay. We're going to go back here and see what we get in place of the sword. Oh boy, that's just pure black. Navi's going through her goth phase. <laughs> Anyways, uh, into this area where the sword normally is. Another bloopy. There's a boulder. There we go. Uh, alright, let's see here. And Oh, the Stone of Agony. Huh. That's a that's a pretty decent item to get early on. So so if you don't know what the Stone of Agony does, basically in the original game you could uh if you if you had a rumble pack you could put it in and uh, it would rumble to like to be sort of like a metal detector but it show but it tells you where like the grottos are but but because you can't actually do that but because there is you can't actually have the controller rumble on uh, on an emulator what it doesn't what it does instead is it um, ugh, sorry kid I'm having a hard time speaking what it does instead is it has um, if you can if you have it you can talk to the um, if you can talk to the uh, the uh, the gossip stones, and they will give you hints on where certain items are. So yeah, that's a thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the Kakiri Forest real quick. Uh, I did not randomize the ocarinas because it's the first time playing, and I didn't want to lose that. So let's see. So, so, oh yeah, we so yeah we get the fairy ocarina every time there. Yeah. So now I'm going to go into the Lost Woods and do a couple mini games that I can do with the uh, ocarina. Come on. There we go. All right. It's weird playing this with the. Uh, I'm using a P880 controller for this. Um, I was thinking of using my PlayStation 3 controller, but. Uh, it's just way too laggy. It, it's just way too buggy. 
Oh, also, I did create a spoiler log, which will tell me, yeah, basically... Hang on. Oh, the Lost Woods theme. Instead of Sur Surya's song, it's, uh, the battle music. Okay. So, basically, if I ever run into trouble and get stuck, I can always use the, uh... I can always use the spoiler log, and it'll tell me where things are. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I don't know where... I don't know S Surya's song, so I can't do that yet. Okay. But I can do the memorization minigame when I find that. Um... Wait, okay. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how well The Lost Woods works. <laughs> it's also probably a bad idea that I'm playing the, uh, that I'm playing, that I'm playing this randomized, considering I've never, like, beaten this game vanilla. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna be lost. There's also a Wind Waker, a uh, randomizer that, that I, that I think is pretty cool. So, alright, we're gonna do the memorization minigame. Mm. Okay. In the Twitch- on my Twitch stream, I got a- I got the bigger on sword for doing this, and that was- And that was pretty awesome, actually, I love- Okay, yeah. I'm gonna just shut up for a moment so I can focus on this. All right, what did we get? Oh, the Kokiri sword, awesome. Cause like, uh, cause like, uh, it, it makes a lot. You may a lot of people may look at this and say that um, it's really it's not not that great of an item, but like, <laughs> there are way too many times. There are way too many times in um. There are many. T there are way too many times where, um... Alright, there are way too many times... Um, hang on. Sorry, I'm filling out the map tracker, so I'm getting distracted. Okay. Uh, there is a map tracker, but I'm only, like, having that for myself. I'm not showing that off in the video. But there are way too many times where, uh, you'll, you'll be playing this game, and then... And then later in the seer, but but you won't get like, you won't get the um, you won't get the Kokiri sword until like way late into the game, which kind of sucks. <laughs> but that that, but it be like that. It it be like that sometimes. They don't think it be like that sometimes, but it do. And I think it's this way. Yep. So let's see here. Uh, the songs are also randomized, but they're all but they're only like randomized within themselves. So I could go and hit. So what could normally give me? Oh, I don't have the shield. Oops. So like, what could normally give me one item? What could normally what could normally give me one song will give me another song. Or in the case of the stream, I'll just get Zelda's lullaby and Saria's song. Both in the same place. Okay, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna turn this up so I can hear a bit better. Uh, I can't tell. I'm gonna go with this one. Nope, it just spat me back out in Kikiri Forest. Crap. It's not doing the thing. It's not doing the thing. So I really, so liter I literally just have to guess. Okay. Well, fortunately, it shows. It shows me. Uh, I can. Fortunately, I can very easily see. Uh, which ones uh, are teleports and which ones are just regular paths. Wait, hang on. Okay, yeah. Okay. This way. I'm also really hoping there'll be a uh, Majora's Mask randomizer. I mean, technically there is one, 
but it's not very well made. So it so it requires a lot uh, the use of a lot of glitches a lot of the time. And uh I have her I heard I have heard that the um that the creators of the Ocarina of Time randomizer are, are working on a Majora's Mask randomizer, but whether or not that's true is to be debated. I should probably have grabbed my shield before I ran through here. Oh crap. Crap. Hang on. Alright. Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually gonna head back and do the shield. No, I didn't say Alexa, shut up! Sorry, my uh, Amazon Echo. It, it likes to just turn on by itself. It, it I guess it reads what I say. It, it 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 hears what I say, and it somehow thinks I'm saying. Well, you know the word, the word that turns on the Amazon Echo. I do like the Amazon Echo though. I use it quite a bit. So yeah. So I'm gonna go through a bit of Link Jumping Simulator, and uh, then I'll buy, I'll buy the, um, oh wait, no, I don't need Deku Sticks. Actually, I do. I, no, wait, I can get them from Deku Baba, so I don't need to buy them. All right, so I got 40 rupees, so now, or is it 45? I think it's just 40. So now I'm gonna buy the shield, and, uh, welcome. All right, thank you. I got the Deku Shield. <laughs> they changed the shop music is now the Kakiri Forest theme. Yeah, okay. Also, whenever I hear the Kakiri Forest theme, it, it always reminds me of um, Caleb City's video about of like uh, if if um, if drug if drug dealers got if a drug dealer got into a musical. And, uh, so yeah, I always, it just always makes me think of that. Oh, something else that's randomized is, uh, you know how, you know how in Zelda games, where, when you, like, have, like, half a heart left, it, it will start, like, beeping at you? Well, that sound is also randomized. And on my Twitch stream, it's the, it's the weep, weep from when the, um, from when the, uh, from when the, uh, the Azora King when King Zora is uh, moving over to let you into, to let you uh, go to Lord Jabu Jabu, and I think that's funny. Oh wait, that's straight. Okay, and then I go left, and then right. Okay. Boom. All right, here we go. So now I have, all right. It's funny because pretty much, I because I'm because of the way I'm decked out. The pretty much the only difference between me and a rate and and like a link on a regular, um, and link on a regular playthrough is that uh, I have is that I have the um that I have the boomerang so early and I also have I also have the fairy ocarina without having without having the slingshot first and uh, Skyward Sword is my favorite game in the series so that's also a uh, that's also something I'd like to see be randomized if possible uh, Here's a question of the day. If what um if there was any Zelda game that had that hasn't had a randomizer yet but you would like to see get a randomizer, what would it be? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh that's awful. Oh my gosh, the locking on sound for Z targeting it's, uh, let's say it, hang on, I can get, I can get Surya's song here, can I? Um, 
Um, am I missing something? How do I get Surya's song? I thought I would just had to come down here and, you know. Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Uh, hang on. I could have sworn that was all it took. Hang on. What? No? Why? Hang on. Am I missing something? Hang on, I'm gonna look this up. Alright, so I just looked it up, and apparent and apparently you need to meet with Zelda before you can you need to meet with Zelda before you get in order to get the Saria song. Or Saria. I can't I can't tell. I don't know which one it is. I, I pretty much just say both, but it like depends. Like, like if I'm speaking slower, then I say Saria. But if I'm but if I'm not speaking faster, I'll I'll say Saria because that just feels more natural. Then I'm, pre I, 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 I'm pretty sure it is Saria though. But you know, I just say I just say Saria when I'm talking faster. Yeah, repeating myself. I wonder, does... Okay, no, it does not tell me how long I've been recording. Darn, okay. So I just have to rate wing it then, all right. Okay, so in that case, I'm actually going to go and try the Great Deku Tree. Now, normally you need the slingshot to beat the Great Deku Tree, but I'm wondering if you can beat it with the, uh, I'm wondering if you can beat, if you can beat the Great Deku Tree with, uh, with the boomerang. 